Tonight, our host is Eric Wilson from WREX-TV, who will help us recognize each of you for all that you've done. Eric. Thank you, Ken. First of all, bear with me. I'm used to having a prompter. I have scripts in front of me, so this is a little bit different. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the arrival on the red carpet. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. yes. I expected a little more enthusiasm than that. How about that red carpet? Thank you. And uh, you have to be excited that school's almost over, right? For the Even Dr. Willis is excited about that. Did you hear that whistling? I thought, who's this guy in the front row with the whistle? And uh, I can sort of mention this too, but we, uh, I was lucky enough yesterday to participate in our station does the, uh, the top of your class every year, so we recognize the top graduating seniors from all over the region. And I said this, we were in a, a small group of people at Clem Arboretum yesterday, and I made everybody do this then, or I made everybody do what I'm about to ask you to do then, and I'm going to ask you to do it again too, but first of all, parents in the room, bear with me, I know it's a dumb question, raise your hand if you are proud of your student here today. I told you it was kind of a dumb question, but there's a point to this. Now keep your hands up. Now students, raise your hand if sometimes your parents are so proud of you that it is embarrassing. <laughs> I see some parents craning their necks to see if the kids are still raising their hands as well. High in the air, raise them high in the air. And believe me, that does not end when you turn 40. It continues. But, uh, you know, what's taking place here at this beautiful Coronado Theater is a, sort of an Oscar-style ceremony. We have musical numbers, of course, the red carpet that you saw as you came in. The All-Star event began four years ago, and it continues with the theme of celebrating the excellence that's going on in Rockford Public Schools. And tonight, I think you will see how much of that is going on. I, I, this night could probably go on forever. Our honorees tonight are being recognized for academic achievement. The center of attention is still the graduating seniors and we commend them for all of their achievements. We also honor our top middle school students and encourage them to continue their path to success as they enter high school. Now later in the evening we'll learn a little bit more about what is required to earn the silver and gold all-star distinctions. Right now though, it's my pleasure to introduce a man who I'm also privileged to be able to call a friend. Mr. Bill Roop from Alpine Bank, the main sponsor of the 2013 All-Star Salute. Thank you, everyone. I have one more assignment. All these seniors, raise your hand if you're a senior. Okay, I want you to tell your parents thank you. Right now, do it. <laughs> uh, they are so very proud of you, as are so many of the Rockfordians that I work with. Um, this is one of my favorite events because um, you are, are the future of whether it's Rockford or Illinois or the United States or wherever. Uh, if it were my choice, and it isn't, but if it were my choice, uh, I grew up as an athlete also and we always see the signs, but if it were me, the academic all-stars, would have their names on the signs in front of the schools every year. You are the individuals that will go on and change and help the world. And I commend you for all you have done. Uh, it is so very exciting. Um, I get to take just a minute here because uh, I paid for this and I want to look around. <laughs> I just want to thank each of you for working so hard, uh, especially the seniors who have multiple years of hard work and uh, you're reaping the reward of your hard work, but this is the only the beginning. I have one challenge for you, especially seniors as you move on. There's something that I have uh, taken to heart for many years. I actually have it written on a coffee cup on my desk. And it says, whose day can you make? As you go out through life, whether it's college and into the work world, I want you to keep that in mind. 
because you don't know what other people are walking through and if you can give them a shine of light there's nothing better than helping individuals and you will all be able to do that in untold measure with your abilities and talents. So thank you for allowing me to be a part of this and I'm looking forward to seeing each of the students come up. Thank you very much. A bank president you can actually like. <laughs> thank you, Bill. Again, thank you for paying for everything. We appreciate it. So that is our thank you to Bill Roop and Alpine Bank for their generous donation. And now I'd like to introduce the creative and performing arts students from Auburn High School. They will perform for us our strongest suit. That's from Ada. Music and lyrics by Tim Rice and Elton John. With some glamour 
Good evening. I am Matt Vosberg, Assistant Superintendent for the Rockford Public Schools. It's a pleasure to be here tonight. Uh, great job, Auburn High School in Capitol. It is now time to honor our Silver Award All-Stars. Would Dr. Willis and Board President Ken Scrivano please join me on the stage? All stars at this level are eighth grade students with the highest cumulative grade point averages, the top 10 in each traditional middle school, and the top five in our K-8 programs. Middle schools may have more than five or 10 all stars if honorees have perfect 4.0 GPAs or there's a tie among students. Students will enter on the opposite side of the stage with their principals, accept their medals from Dr. Willis, shake Mr. Scrivano's hand, exit on this side of the stage and then return to their seats. Students names will be called by their principals. Please hold your applause until the names of all students from each school have been called. Good evening. These are the students for Barber Language Academy. Alejandra Bravo. Ariana Hernandez. Rebecca Kirtley. Jose Novela. And Emily Rodriguez. Students from Eisenhower Middle School, Sophie Brown, Carson Davenport, Andy Guinness, Tanner Huff, Kim Fan, Alyssa Reyes. Suzanne Russo, James Santos, Patrick Sellis, Haley Summer, and Joe Taylor. Introduce the students from Flynn Middle School, Takira Beasley, Bianca Sabalos, Emily Johnson, Ruby Mann, Nick Morrow. Adam Robles, Yannet Rodriguez, Natalie Arzab, and Natalie Sales. Students represent Kennedy Middle School, Courtney Clements, Fred 
Faith Dickens, Jacob Fox, Alexis Jefferson, Ryan Cruz, Brianna Lane, Roseanne Manita, Kimberly Rosales, Emily Seco. Unfortunately, Mr. Stephen Hunt couldn't be with us today. The top 10 from Lincoln Middle School, Isabella Camacho. Alexandria Parker. Madeline Heacock. James Johnson. Bailey Lundquist. Tatiana Landahano. Thomas McLaughlin. Alex Versendahl. Juan Viella. And Kelvin Sargoza. Hi, the following students are from Marshall Middle School. Kaylee Bronze. Xavier Edgren, <coughs> Julian Giacchis, William Jane, Emma Lai, Frey Lemonholm, Cassie Shriver, James Woodcock, Monet Zayed. I'm very proud to announce the academic golf stars from Risa Middle School. Brendan Alsa. Daniel Acosta. Julia Buchanan. Andrew Campos, Cheyenne Sammons, Andrea Stout, Colin Thurston. Neda Velasquez, Alejandra 
Viela. And Ferran Zekri. It is with great honor to recognize the 2013 Academic All-Stars representing West Middle School. Rosario Ononasi, Ariana Eaton, Emily Aishin, Samantha Hopewell, Jenna Cayley, Abigail Lane, Kim Newton, Nina Paris, Keisha Smith. Thank you. I'm afraid Captain Keller says it's only true. She'll persist until she gets away. 
Let us get you another plate, Miss Hull. I have a plate. Nothing's wrong with the plate. I intend to keep it. Oh, now there's hardly a man to struggle with a deprived child about Miss Sullivan. Oh, I'd sooner have a more heroic issue myself. I really want some fish stew. Now she's hurt herself. No, she hasn't. Will you let her hands go? Miss Baby, please. Miss Sullivan would have more of an understanding of your pupil if you had a little pity in you. Now kindly do as I say. Pity? For Miss Tyler. The whole house turns on her wings for her. Is there anything she wants she doesn't get? I'll tell you what I do. That the sun will rise and set for her all her life, and every day you're telling her that it will. What good will your pity do when you're under the strawberries, Captain Keller? Katie, for the love of heaven, will you? Miss Amy, please. It doesn't serve to lose our temper. It does you good. That's all. It's easier to feel sorry for her than to teach her anything better, isn't it? I fail to see where you've taught her anything yet, so. I'll be in this minute. If you'll leave the room, Captain Keller. Leave the Everyone, room. please. Miss Sullivan, you are here only as an aid teacher and nothing more. And not to lecture her. I can't unteach her six years of pain if you can't stand up to one tantrum. Oh, you promised me help. Indeed, I did. We truly want to. Then leave me alone with her. Now. Katie, can I have a word with you outside at once? Please. Superintendent's Student Advisory Council are a special group of young adults. In 2009, a group of students from Auburn High School met with the then superintendent to voice their concerns. From that meeting, a movement was born. The group expanded to include representatives from all five of our high schools. 
They agreed to meet on a regular basis and search for ways these young adults could bring about positive change in their school system. And they have. This year, the council helped shape the health curriculum, shared ideas for school lunches, and worked with the district's security team to develop our online incident reporting program. The group also took an active role in the community, serving at the Northern Illinois Food Bank and partnering with the Mayor's Youth Advisory Council. This partnership has resulted in the Youth Summit and hosting a dodgeball tournament for community youth. These young leaders are a shining example for other students within our community, and they have bright, bright futures ahead of them. We would like to recognize our seniors for their contribution to the Superintendent's Student Advisory Council. Will the outgoing members of the Advisory Council make their way to the opposite end of the stage? And would their parents please stand for recognition? Let's have a hand for the parents. never forget, you are the first and most important teacher in the lives of your children. You are their role models and you are their mentors, so good work. At this time, we'll now call the names of the council members so that I may present their gifts. Aubrey Baker Parker, or Clark, excuse me, Emily Britton, and Logan Tillman. is Executive Director of Learning, Vicki Jacobson. Thank you. As our, our young ladies from Kappa Arbor and saying earlier, you are what you wear. I think I'm a bumblebee, what do you think? I love that song. All right, it's my honor to be asked tonight to announce awards that will be presented outside of this ceremony. There are so many outstanding achievements to celebrate in Rockford Public Schools that, much like the Oscars, all the deserving honorees can't be brought on stage during our program tonight. But I am here to announce students who have perfect attendance, and they will be receiving their awards in their schools next week. You hear much about the difficulty we have in District 205 about truancy, and the problem is real. What you don't hear about, however, is the other end of the spectrum. I'm delighted to be able to announce that as of Friday, May 17th, 335 students had not missed a single day of class since 2012-2013. a number that we should be cheering about and let me be the first to offer my congratulations to all the students thank you for your dedication to your education each of you deserve a real round of applause I have also become aware that there's someone in our attendance tonight who has not missed a day of school since kindergarten I know. I thought maybe you lived in a bubble. I don't know. Would Randall Simmental please stand? Congratulations. Thank you, Vicki. And you know, I have to say that. Uh, I don't know how you did it, man. 
we did a story about Randall, I think it was either this, earlier this week or last week, I can't remember, you get old things like that, go fade from your memory, but uh, I can't remember what I had for lunch today. But uh, you were the talk of the newsroom, and you shamed all of us into never calling in sick until 2016, I think is what we established. So nice job, wow. At this point in the program, we will talk about athletics and the arts and the important roles that both activities play in the development of well-rounded students. Tonight, we'll acknowledge some of our most talented student athletes and artists. Here to say a few words about sports is Athletic Director Matt Parker. Good evening. Randall, make sure you lead off in, in your interviews with the statement that you never miss a day of school. That's, that's incredible, and, and you'll get hired immediately. It's a great pleasure to be here this evening uh, to present these two awards, and congratulations to all the recipients so far, uh, especially my neighbor, uh, Maddie Hecox, that lives down the street representing Lincoln Middle School tonight. Great job, Maddie. Participating in co-curriculars, and in this case, being a student athlete, is a special part of the educational experience. It's where many of us learn to develop lifelong positive habits like teamwork, drive, discipline, time management, and accomplishment. The eight individuals you're about to meet are extraordinary and exemplify what a true student athlete is. Our Athlete of the Year Award recognizes one male and one female student athlete who has excelled both academically and athletically in school and who met the criteria for nomination. The athletic staff and administration at each high school decided who would best represent their schools. Final selections for Athlete of the Year were made by members of the media who regularly report on high school sports. They used a scoring process based on the nomination criteria. The video you're about to see will introduce you to each of the female nominees and give you a sense of their outstanding athletic skill and devotion to their sport. Champion in the 100 hurdles for three years. 
one a member of the National Honor Society. I'm a rare scholar. I'm, I'm a Mig 10 scholar athlete. Yeah, who do you owe the most your success to? Um, my family. They, they're really supportive of everything I do, and they're always pushing me to work hard not only on the track, but in the classroom. Um, I'd like to thank my first track coach, Coach Cozy. He, he's been with me since I was about nine years old. I would say be focused and be determined. If you have a goal, just work hard to achieve that and don't let anyone stand in your way.
Logan's going to be an NIU husband next year. The next video you're about to see will introduce you to each of the male nominees and give you a sense of their outstanding athletic skill and devotion to their sport.
stage was empty, and I thought, where in the world are they? And here they come, orchestra pit. I should have thought of that. Nice job, East High School Orchestra. Our next awards will go to the Artist of the Year. Here to present is Luann Wittegren, Director of Fine Arts and Cap. Performing Artist of the Year awards recognize students who stand out both academically and artistically in their school and their community. The art faculty at each high school decided the school's nominees for each of the two categories. A rubric and the student criteria was provided to a panel of knowledgeable judges from the arts community. The judges scored and selected the finals for each award. The video you're about to see, thank you Vince, We'll introduce you to each of the visual artists and give you a sense of their outstanding talent and devotion to their work. Realistic, and it's looking like the 
face or the mind. How does somebody get to your level of being that good of an artist plus have that good of a GPA? How does that happen? Um, by knowing your priorities. Um, just knowing that you have to work for, like, for school and put that before your social life. My teacher loves uh, family design and it's inspiration because she cares. She always helps me and she pulls me in the right direction. I really want to work with her just to keep doing it because that is makes perfect. And to not procrastinate. Every human, every day uh, practice 
singing and playing violin in the mornings. So he was the person who just gave me this opportunity to uh, learn more and do such big things like musical. There is no way that you will not do it when you believe in yourself. for this moment. The 2013 Performing Artist of the Year is Cody Woodman from Auburn High School. Cody, if you could join me on stage. Congratulations to our honorees and award winners so far. Dr. Aaron Jarrett, Assistant Superintendent for the Rockford Public Schools. We've now come to the final awards of the evening, our gold all-stars at the high school level, which are the, who are the top 25 graduating seniors at Rockford's high school. 
Auburn beats Guilford Jefferson, as determined by cumulative GPA over four years, and the top 15 graduating seniors at Roosevelt Alternative School. Beginning with Auburn, please enter on the opposite side of the stage to accept your medal from Dr. Willis and a certificate from Mr. Scrivano. Your principals will make their way to the stage so they can offer up a few words of congratulations and call your names. Up first is Auburn principal, Mr. Ryan Renke. I'm very proud to say the graduating class of 2013 from Auburn High School has been offered over $3.3 million in scholarships. A big chunk of which will be uh, awarded to the students you meet here tonight. First up, we have Jessica Beard. She'll be attending Northwestern University. Next up, John Brecklebaum. He'll be attending Vassar College. <laughs> Bethany Cooper, she'll be attending Judson U University. <laughs> Mary Cunningham will be attending the University of Illinois at Champaign-Urbana. <laughs> Brianna Dow will be attending Illinois Wesleyan University. Jasmine Diaz cannot be here this evening. She will be attending the University of Illinois at Chicago. <laughs> Stephanie George, she'll be attending St. Louis University. <laughs> Aaron Gessner, he'll be attending the U University of Wisconsin at Madison. <laughs> Brooke Holstrom, she'll be attending the University of Wisconsin at Madison. Joseph Johnson, he'll be attending the University of Minnesota. <laughs> Next up is Michael Kikta. He, he cannot be with us tonight. He is traveling to Atlanta to compete in the National Quiz Bowl Tournament. Hopefully they're doing well. He'll be attending the College of William and Mary. Jennifer Kim will be attending the University of Illinois, Champaign-Urbana. Jinju Kim cannot be with us tonight. We'll be attending the Seoul National University. <laughs> Regine Lim will be attending the University of Illinois at Champaign-Urbana. <laughs> We've got our own dorm over there. <laughs> Emily Lindvall will be attending Lawrence University. <laughs> Jeremy Myers, unable to attend with us tonight, will be attending Rock Valley College. Alexander Pendaya, also attending the National Quiz Bowl Tournament, will be attending the University of Illinois Champaign-Urbana. <laughs> Sophia Papatsu will be attending the University of Illinois Champaign-Urbana. <laughs> Alexander Khan is unable to join us this evening. Eric Salignavong will be attending the University of Wisconsin at Madison. Samantha Tater will be attending the University of Illinois, Champaign-Urbana. <laughs> Elizabeth Tolson will be attending the University of Alabama. <laughs> Amy Trowbridge will be attending Miami University. <laughs> Emily Wong will be attending the University of Illinois, Champaign-Urbana. <laughs> and Morgan Watterson, great artist, will be attending the University of Wisconsin at Platteville. <laughs> Congratulations to all the students, and they will be successful. Thank you.
Good evening. My name is Patrick Enright, and it's always an honor to stand in front of anybody from Rockford and tell them that I'm the principal of Rockford East High School. The following students make up the top part of East Rockford East High School, and we're going to start with one of our three valedictorians, Rachel Bates, who will attend the University of Illinois. Eric Beek, who is unable to be here tonight, will attend University of Illinois. Rachel Beckler will attend Aurora University. Alexandra Breswan will attend the University of Vienna, Austria. Ariana Dubella, who is unable to be here tonight, will attend Rock Valley College. And her sister, Christiana Dubella, will also attend Rock Valley College. John Finley will attend Aurora University. Rebecca Gesser will attend Rockford College. Michael Grant will attend Rock Valley College. Kayla LaRue will attend Rock Valley College. Brandon Lucas will attend Rock Valley College. Kayla Lundy will attend Columbia College. Our second valedictorian, Aurora Masek, will attend Northern Illinois University. Ashley McCollum will attend University of Wisconsin Whitewater. Jessica Mena will attend Rock Valley College. Our salutatorian, Gardenia Pacheco will attend Rock Valley College. <laughs> Melissa Prathomacha will attend University of Wisconsin Madison. <laughs> Our third valedictorian, Sarah Rubrick, will attend University of Wisconsin Platteville. Rebecca Sewell will attend Rock Valley College. <laughs> Ernesto Soto will attend University of Wisconsin Superior. <laughs> Alex Pickler will attend University of Wisconsin Whitewater. The RPS Female Athlete of the Year, Logan Tillman, will attend Northern Illinois University. Marissa Bookmere will attend Elgin Community College. Catherine Webb will attend Augustana University. And my neighbor, Nick Weller, will attend the University of Illinois. Ladies and gentlemen, the Rockford East High School 2013 Academic All-Stars. Good evening, I'm Janice Hawkins, I'm the principal of Guilford High School, and it is my pleasure to introduce our senior academic all-stars. First up is Jeremy Benson, attending the University of Minnesota. Aaron Buck, attending Carroll University. Spencer Clark, attending Milliken University.
Abigail Cruden, attending Illinois State University. <laughs> Layla Diab, attending the University of Illinois at Champaign. Edwards, attending Rock Valley College. Jordan Garcia, attending Beloit College. Courtney Hardman, attending Colorado Christian University, is not with us tonight. Stephanie Iverson, attending the University of Illinois at Chicago. Hasna Khaliladin, attending Loyola University. Monica Miguel, attending Knox College. Lucas Morales, attending MIT. Sienna Peterson, attending the University of Arizona. <laughs> Stephanie Severson, attending Rock Valley College. <laughs> Taylor Slaybaugh, attending Rock Valley College. Megan Smith, attending the University of Illinois at Champaign. Amanda Thomas, attending Iowa State University. Zabeda Bayed, attending Northern Illinois University. Tanya Walder, attending Rock Valley College. <laughs> Sang Sayasuk, attending Emory University. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations to the 2013 Denver High School Academic All Stars. Good evening, my name is Don Rondo, the proud principal of Jefferson High School. Uh, for you, Jefferson, you out there, we have one question we ask you, Jefferson. Jay what? Jay I'd like to introduce first, Emily Britton, Taylor University. Santiago Cruz, Rock Valley College. Kara Dieters, Illinois State University. <laughs> Lewis Dotson's not with us. He's at the state track tournament representing Jefferson, but he's going to Southern Illinois University. <laughs> Jonathan Farmer, Southern Illinois University. <laughs> Scott Fawcett, Harding University. Jessica Fettis, University of Wisconsin Whitewater. <laughs> Taylor Hoppy, the University of Wisconsin Whitewater. <laughs> Irene Jelma, undecided. <laughs> Lorenzo Jimenez, University of Iowa. Stefan Jimenez, Rock Valley College. <laughs> Patricia Jordan, Kent State University. <laughs> Trevor Larson, Bradley University. Gabriel Nelson, Southern Illinois University. 
Yesenia Perez, Northern Illinois University. Joshua Peterson, U.S. Army. Cable Petro, undecided. George Polito, Rock Valley College. Lisa Rose, Rock Valley College. Edwin Rodriguez, University of Illinois. Randall, I've never missed a day of school in Senegal. Jefferson High School's valedictorian John Shalilla from the University of Illinois. Tajane Hardy Williams, Rock Valley College. And David Zhang, University of Illinois at Chicago. The Jefferson High School at 525. Good evening, my name is Heidi Huey and I have the opportunity to serve as the principal of Roosevelt Community Education Center. It's my great pleasure to introduce the 15 academic all-stars from Roosevelt. Jessica Barnes will focus on her career at this time and attend college later. Charlotte Fish will attend Rock Valley College. Shantia Fola will begin Regency Cosmetology Cosmetology School on June 26th. Devante Gary will attend Rock Valley College. Luis Garza will attend Barber School. Cecilia Hoffman will attend Rock Valley College. Courtney Hoffman will attend Rock Valley College and then Harper College. will attend Rock Valley College. Jose Martinez received a scholarship to play soccer at Kishwaukee College. Melanie Myers will attend Rock Valley College. Aaron Patterson will be joining the military. Taylor will attend Rock Valley College. And lastly, Christopher Thomas will attend the College of DuPage. Congratulations, Roosevelt students. students amazing or what? You know, if you think about it, academically, athletically, performing arts-wise, it all takes extra effort. And these young men and women are giving everything they've got, and they deserve everything they get tonight. I'm proud of them. These graduating seniors from our high schools 
have earned just under a total of $10 million in scholarships. That's exceptional. And I hope to see that amount increase as we continue working toward our readiness rock entitled College for All. Let's take a moment to give all of our scholarship winners a round of applause. But, we have two extraordinary recognitions. Auburn's Jessica Beard and Jake Breckenbaum, who have been named National Merit Scholars. The field of eligible scholars began with 1.5 million juniors who took the PSAT in 2010. Only 8,300 students will be named scholars. Jessica and Jake were recognized as gold all-stars, and they are among the top students in our nation as well. We'd like to say congratulations and honor them with a special certificate. Jessica and Jake, would you please come forward?
time where I don't feel like I don't deserve to be on this stage. Holy cow! Guys, that was awesome! And I'm pretty confident there's not anything that any of us adults up here on the stage could say to top what just happened. So Ken Scrivano, this is your job to follow that act. He snuck away, but isn't Rick Durango one of the coolest teachers that in the rock and public school? <laughs> that was him with the blue hat and the blue pants and whatever. To... He taught band when my daughter went to Guilford, so that was a long time ago. So anyway, what a great night this has been. Of all of the things that we do for the school district, this is my favorite night of all of our events. To recognize all of the great scholars and athletes and artists that we have. So it's my pleasure to introduce to you a couple of my co-board members that are here tonight. I see Tim Rollins and Mike Connor, if you stand. Anyone of my other board members here tonight? Thank you, Mike, for your service to the community. And finally, a special thank you to the committee that organizes this event and makes it such a great festive celebration for our honorees. Great job by that committee. Tells you nothing we said could top that performance. I have one final duty tonight, and that is to give you some dismissal instructions. You didn't think that we'd be at a school district event and there wouldn't be some kind of instructions, right? So please listen before you start to move. Everybody will be dismissed, but our graduating seniors and their families, and the seniors who have not had their group picture taken will do so now here on the stage. Seniors, be sure to pick up your congratulatory gift after your picture, then you and your family are welcome to be escorted out to the new lobby by your principal. Then be, that will be through the exits on your right, and then of course there's a nice reception out there for that. So with, ever, with that, everybody but our graduating seniors and their families are dismissed. But before I let you go, I just want to say, first of all, thank you for letting me be a part of such a very special night for not just the community, but for all of your lives. Uh, please be safe going home. And again, thank you for being here. And congratulations to all of our graduates. And I know we had some middle schoolers here, too, our future high school graduates as well. Keep up the great work.